Good morning, everybody. Somebody had posted up asking me to go over what our cages are like. Hopefully you can hear me. So let's just quickly show you what our cage, one of our cages are like. So this is Scooby's cage. All of our cages obviously are tall, um, six feet, and of very large size. So this is only Scooby's cage. He's the only one in here. Um, all of our other cages are double, which are even larger. So all of the cages have water bottles on the outside, water bowls inside. We use food bins that are actually bath bins that you can buy on Amazon. So these are food bins. They're actually for, made for baths, but they keep the food waste down. So if the birds don't throw the food out, we don't lose as much food as waste. Um, all of the cages have tons of toys. Plastic chain, those are a one inch length, I think they call it two inch length actually, a two inch length chain, um, and natural purchase. We are huge believers in natural purchase, so this cage probably has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's probably, there's more than a dozen purchases in this cage alone. We also use these, these are um, Timothy Hay bungalows that we use, um, gives them a place to sleep if they want. Most of our birds sleep in perches or in these three inch diameter cardboard tubes that I buy online. Um, we have wood platforms for them to stand on. That one needs to be cleaned. That's Thursdays. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, all of our cages are very large for our birds. Um, the more room the better, especially for kites. They are very energetic. Um, Natural perches are very important. Food and fresh water available 24 hours a day, very important. So all of our cages have water bowls. Um, water bowls allow them to dip their food. Kites love to dip their food, um, and they take baths in their bowls. So the bowls can change out no less than twice a day. We wash and refill the bowls twice a day. The reason I have water bottles on every, on every cage also is so that when their water bowls get really mucky and you know whatnot right before I wash them, they still have fresh water. Um, or if they take a bath in the bowl and knock most of that water out. Some of our kikes will actually bathe in the bowls until there's no water left in them. Um, and you don't want to have an issue where you don't have water available. So I hope that answers your question about what our cages are set up like. Again, fresh water, always. Dry food, good quality dry food. We use pelleted food mixed with some parrot food, uh, natural parrot food. Natural perches, hugely important. Natural perches all over the cage. This is Marley and Nigel's cage. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's again another dozen and a half perches. Toys galore of all types. Shredding toys, chipping toys, chewing toys. Um, toys that they can forage through, they can pull stuff out of here. You know, you can see that there's just a ton of toys. Um, more of these huts, they don't sleep in them too much, but they love to shred them up. Again, another shredder toy. Platforms are great, water bottles in every cage, multiple water bowls, and as much room as you can give them. So, we do use paper on the bottom of our cages. This is just a thin paper liner, so it's water resistant. And I pull these up and change them every other day or so. Um, these are a mess. I changed these two days ago, so every two days. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you can hear me. I hope that helps. If you have any specific questions, please write them in the comment section for this video. And I will answer as many questions as I can. We'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.